Okay. Hey guys, it's Rec. Welcome to the Dark Moon Fair. Uh, this is the new Dark Moon Fair that was added in patch 4.3. And it introduces a lot of daily quests that you can do for random rewards that are kind of easy, kind of fun. Basically, a lot of them have the feel of mini games. But they all require these things called prize tokens. Now, if you want to get these things done, with one attempt, there's kind of a certain strategy you want to go for whenever you're doing them. And I'll show you how I do these dailies, and maybe I'll be able to get them done in one attempt, maybe two. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll shoot for it. We'll see how we do. Now, this first game is Hammer Time, and it's basically Whack-A-Mole. So, we're going to go ahead and throw in our Dark Moon game token. And as you're going to be able to see... I have Deadly Boss Mods running, and what Deadly Boss Mods does during this little event is it tells you exactly when Hogger spawns. Hogger is worth three points when the other little gnolls are worth one point apiece. So every time he pops up, you want to go for him. And if you do it on cooldown, staying really attentive, or using DBM, it's really easy to be able to get this done in one attempt if you're lucky. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it done here because I'm being a little bit slow. Eh. Eh. I got like think, seven more. Please tell me I can get this done. I'm going to be so sad if I can't. No! No, 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 no! Give me Hogger. Oh, crap! Oh, man! I had one more. Dang it! Oh, I was so close! Anyway, that's the way to get it done in one token. I'm gonna have to come in here and wag one more of these just because I was hesitating a little bit too much. But there you go. That's that game done. Moving right ahead, there's another little thing right here with this gnome. This is really familiar for those of you who remember the old Dark Moon Fair the humanoid cannonball. Now for this event, DBM is also really handy too, because you get in the cannon, you end up launching yourself, and then a timer pops up, and you time yourself, so, Five, three, four, two, three, one, release. Two, one. A little bit late, or actually that was a little bit early, but you go five, four, three, two, one, and then wait about a tick and then release and you'll usually land inside the target about every single time hopefully I can do it again I'm of course during filming I do horrible at all of these mini games of course like the game would have it in any other freaking way thank you World of Warcraft for spiting me <sighs> Five, three, three two three, one two one uh, did I bullseye it? No, I got a great shot. That's close enough. I almost bullseyed it that time. But that's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. You're guaranteed to do it in at least two times. As long as you have the timing down pretty well. It's actually really hard to get a bullseye, but if you get a bullseye, you only have to do it once because it's worth like five points, I think. And you get a achieve for it too. Pretty nice. So let's keep going right along here. Uh, I'm not going to go into what you can actually buy with all these handy little tickets I'm earning. That's something you can sort of find out for yourself. Basically, you can earn a lot of transmog stuff. You can earn uh, heirloom gear. But, okay. This game is a little bit interesting. This is basically uh, the prize shooting games that you normally find in car carnivals. And for this, what I like to do is I like to scoot back a little bit and I hold both mouse buttons down and I hold S down as I'm doing this because you have to be right at the counter and you can't really move but you have to be able to free strafe back and forth and if you're quick you get these little pop-ups that say great shot of course I'm being really slow as I said my reflexes are horrible today there you go. There's at least one of them. But being able to aim on an access really, really helps 
in getting this one done. Because you can adjust yourself very, very easily left and right, basically first person shooter style. Oop, oop. Eh. This is one of my favorite ones. Because it's really reflex based. You kind of have to aim in the middle and then wait for the target to pop up on either side. I've never really been able to get this one done in one solid attempt, but I've gotten close a couple times. Most of these games are designed to where it's possible to get it done in one shot, but it's very, very difficult to do so. Unless you're just super pro, which I obviously am not. Especially today. There we go. Okie dokie, what's next here? I think we've got the tank game. Tank challenge is pretty straightforward. There's not really a strat to this one. Only when you got DBM, it kind of saves your ass a little bit more often than not. So we're going to jump in the game. I don't know why there's a Nidal for Annalise standing there. And you start shooting all these targets until you get marked. When you get marked, someone tries to kill you and DBM will be like, hey, go over there so you don't get shot at. And then you can just go back to blowing up the targets. This is more of a game of surviving than getting it done super quickly. But that helps too. Run away, little girl. Run away. If you get big lines of targets away, at once, it really helps. Because if you can just sit there and basically hammer away a bullet per second, then you have that much of a better chance of getting this done. Another thing is this one is largely dependent on how many other people are doing it with you. Because I think it actually shares targets between everyone doing the quest at the time, so... Mm. If, in fact, there's a lot of people doing it, you might have some trouble and have to do it twice, no matter what. There we go. I'm hoping I can get at least one of these mini games done in one attempt. Jeez. Horrific. Let's see, I think there is one more just up here. I believe that would be the turtle toss. And it's probably the easiest achievement to get out of all of them. Or not achievements. Blech. The easiest mini game out of all of them because you can get it done pretty much in one attempt every time. And it's just as simple as lining up and throwing rings on a turtle. See you around. Lovely. Aim for about the middle of him. If you can wait until he stops moving, great, but trying to get him to stop moving is a little bit ridiculous because he wiggles around a lot. And even when you throw straight at him, your rings might just arc on accident and go a completely different direction. But if I get three on him, okay, I was about to say, that was, that was going to be amazing. Eh. Damn you, turtle! There we go. You only have to get three on him, and I didn't even use like half my rings, so pretty easy, that one. But anyway, that's pretty much it. All of the Dark Moon quests and stuff, just as far as dailies go. There are a lot more quests that become active like on a monthly basis. Those are involved in leveling your trade skills, first aid, archaeology, fishing, cooking, engineering, whatever you got. About a five points, I think, per event, which is pretty nice. If you're looking for the last five points to grind out in one of your professions and you're having trouble with it, you can just wait for the Dark Moon Fair to roll around really quick and uh, it'll do it for you. But that's all I had, guys. See you next time.